y'all i am making my smoothies for the week um i do them out of all sorts of frozen fruits fruit is frozen at the peak of its freshness so just use frozen fruits and it makes them nice and cold and creamy like a little treat and i saw this little hack on the internet and i thought i have got to share this with y'all because i adore it um so we're going to get started okay so you're going to need a blender of course and you see what i've been doing i'm loading up all my smoothie ingredients into my little mason jars down here y'all are in my canning kitchen we're back down in here yay okay and this is just my smoothie little recipe for a strawberry one some or strawberry banana but you can do any combination or whatever you do for a smoothie okay guys um, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing for each of my smoothies okay first things first I freeze spinach baby spinach you buy it in the store and a lot of times you'll see a big container on sale because it's getting ready to expire but it's still good and fresh so i buy it and i freeze it into chips see this can y'all hear them they're like crispy little chips spinach chips so we're going to start with about somewhere in the neighborhood of a quarter cup and you know that's several of these spinach leaves like that and then I just kind of stick to the quarter cup scheme. I've got some strawberries because we're on the strawberry theme this week. And I'm going to put a quarter cup of strawberries. Maybe, maybe one or two more. Just one or two more. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm always over the top too much. All right, and to that, I love to put this acaya powder. You don't have to do that. And, of course, because it's purple, but it's really, really good for you. And I buy it in powder form just at Walmart. And I'm going to put me a teaspoon of it. Like I say, this is just your smoothie recipe, how you like to do it. But I can't wait to show you the little hack. And a quarter of a frozen banana. I love to freeze bananas, especially the ones that you can tell you're not going to eat before they go too ripe. Well, that's the perfect time. And I make them in fourths. So I'm going to put a fourth of banana and heat, and I just put them in here in fourths right back into the freezer, okay? And they'll stay for a while like that for me. And I use Greek yogurt because it's nice and creamy and thick, you know, creamy. And I use unflavored because if it has vanilla flavoring or strawberry or whatever, then it's got sugar added in it as well. And I'm trying to stay away from as much sugar as I can. But I'm going to put some in my orange juice, I guess. So anyway, a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Going in here. Just like that. And sometimes I use almond milk. And I'm out of almond milk this morning. But I want to show y'all this hack. So y'all aren't going to care what I use. I'm going to use orange juice. Sometimes I use orange juice. I love the... Um, flavor enhancement a little bit of orange juice does or pineapple juice y'all get the idea and i did a quarter cup sometimes i need a little more than that just depends on how much of my smoothie i put okay let me show you what you do you can freeze it just like this just stick it in your freezer now don't put your orange juice or your almond milk or whatever kind of liquid you put on there don't do that so let me let me put that to the side we're gonna freeze it just like this without that in there okay i want to stick true to true to form here so come here you little top all right freeze it just like this and you can put all of these jars with their lids on right here in your freezer for you to grab in the morning on the go okay so We've come to our freezer on the go. We grab this out. We add our quarter cup of our orange juice, okay? Are y'all ready for this? I just, I'm, I love this. I am in love with this. It's so fun. <laughs> I know I'm easily, easily distracted and amused in the kitchen. Okay, so just take your regular ordinary blender. I've had this blender, oh my goodness, 15, 20 years. I got it for $9.99 at Walmart. And you know how you need to screw this bottom off occasionally anyway to wash it and take it off with your blender just like that 
And would you look at this? It goes right on your smoothie jar. I know. I know. Isn't that fantastic? I think y'all probably got it from here. All that needs is a little more orange juice. Like I say, normally I add just a little more. I'm going to say probably like a half a cup of orange juice or your almond milk or a little of both. So here we go. Is that not the coolest little thing? <laughs> oh my, that, that tastes so, so, so good. I love a smoothie. Love a smoothie in the morning, I do. Anyway, I just want to share this hack with you. So, load up your little jars and put them in your freezer and in the morning you just put that on there and make you a smoothie. <laughs> mm. It is so cold. It's like, it's almost like ice cream. I love it. And y'all, I promise you can't taste the spinach. I know it turns everything green, but just know that's goodness for you. But you can't taste it at all, okay? I taste strawberry and banana. <laughs> Bye, guys. See y'all soon.